Sometimes visitors will come here and they're struck uh, by the children who are so eager to take a hold of them and hug them and there's no shyness. But it's because they've learned that here they can hug and they love, they can be loved on, they can give love. It's a very special thing for them. We are in Dandora, and Dandora is a high-risk area, especially in bringing up kids. And there are gangs, and if they are not in school, they can get lost, they can be anything. So it is a kind of a protected area, and that's why those kids would call it heaven. There is no doubt in any of our minds here in the KDS community that this is holy ground that Jesus Christ is indeed here. He's in this community. There is always light in a dark place. And they feel that here. They know that their Lord is real. That makes a paradise. And I'm telling you, we're telling you, the Lord is in this place. One of the things that we do to make sure that the children are growing spiritually is to make sure that we have programs that can actually take care of them. One of the programs that we have is, um, is called Bible Club. We give them the Bible stories, we teach them about Bible characters and help them to identify themselves with a, bi a, a, a biblical character that can help them transform their lives. My name is Mark chapter 16 verse 15. I am the minister for tourism. Go into all corners of the world and eat good news to every creature. Thank you. Come follow me. I will make you fishers of men. Thank you. I am the minister for sports. Many who are fast will be last and many who are last will be first. Thank you. I am the minister for health. I took all your infirmities and by my stripes you are healed. Thank you. Come to me, all who are tired from carrying heavy loads, and I will give you rest. Thank you. Matthew chapter 11, verse 20. My name is Exodus 3, verse 10. I'm the minister for immigration. Now go for, I'm sending you to Pharaoh to, to let my people out of Egypt. Thank you. Get ready now, you and all people of Israel, and cross the river Jordan into the land that I am giving them. I will give you every place where you set your foot. Thank you. I am the minister for defense. Now in from from the Guinness, you shall prosper. Thank you. The one who plants only a little, gather only a little. The one, and the one who plants a lot will gather a lot. Thank you. I am the minister for planning. I alone know the plans I have for you. Plans to bring you prosperity and not disaster. Plans to bring about the future you hope for. Thank you. When we walk the village and we see the great need, we are like, we may be just scratching the, just a little bit, but if we can raise leaders and teach them that we are not raising them to go out there and join the better community, so to say, but we are raising them up to come back and impact their community and bring a change. It will be beautiful. The work will be bigger. We shall be a bigger oasis. Mm -hmm. And that is what we instill in the kids. We are not teaching you so that you can fly away to America and be a different person. <laughs> we are raising you up as leaders so that you can come and change the society in which you live in.
glory train to the glory land. What inspires me most is that uh, is, is seeing the results, the children being transformed. They love God, they love Jesus. They are seriously and truly born again from that early age and then we see them growing. That, that, that motiv motivates us more. Those who are graduating from here, who have gone through this project, are going to be able to transform not only this nation, but also East Africa and the, the other nations of the world. We don't take this work for granted, and Jehovah Jireh, God our provider, it really is our banner here because it is the Lord that provides for these children, and we never, ever give them any reason to think otherwise. We tell them, don't look to us, don't look to your sponsor, don't look to that one or that one. Your Savior and your Jehovah Jireh is Jesus Christ, and He provides. I see great things ahead. There is hope for this community, there is hope for this nation, there is hope for Africa as a whole, as a continent. From Kinyago Dandora, I believe there is a light that is going to shine brighter and it is going to bring transformation in terms of character, in terms of behavior, in terms of leadership and all the other aspects. So that's what I'm seeing. And so we are not afraid. Our trust is in him. And I know he will never, put us, uh, he will never be put to shame because he is on our side. And therefore we thank God so much for what he has helped us to do. A long term goal would be to build more schools. We've been asked by Nairobi City Council to build more schools. We have become a very good model of what can happen when you take children, destitute children, mm -hmm. give them love, give them care, and give them a chance. They produce. Yeah.